morning. Birds are singing, aren't they? Oh, welcome to the channel. If you like um, cattle and tractors, then you're in the right place. And you know, if you continue watching, you think this is all right, then please remember to press the like button and subscribe because it helps grow the channel so that more people um, can see what farmers get up just day to day, really, just day to day life of a farmer. Anyway, let's start feeding some cows and bedding them down. So I get lined up with the teagle and we're back onto these bales to swallow them up. Noah's actually already cut these from once. So we're going to have to get out of the cab, which is good. So yeah, just get them in line like that and then we'll swallow it up. But I can't do it while holding camera. I have my first bedded to wash off. I should have washed it off last night, but it was like ten past nine or something when I got, got finished eventually. Um, so yeah i wasn't i was yeah i should have done but i didn't okay so these guys in here got mucked out yesterday but um we're still gonna blast loads of straw in even though they, they got really well bedded up I need to build that layer back up that's what we'll do now right i've just had a word with don and we can go and get a bit of barley because we're totally out in the back here It's very nice trailer. Go and fetch some. Yeah, she's looking like a honey. We'll get the pipes on. We'll get up there. So we'll get on our way. Michael from GCS said that red Richard Weston trailers are quite rare. Since you don't get many painted red. We do here. Even more fly tipping up here. Looks like they cleared up what was there last time. And now they've added some more. We'll go a little bit further. There's even more there, more sofas and fridges. It's a disgrace, isn't it? Total disgrace. A little bit further, we've got some soil being tipped there. Then we've got some more garden waste that somebody's tipped. A little bit further, we've got some more, I'm guessing, cannabis stuff in it. We've got some of the pots there. Somebody actually messaged me saying they wanted some pots. Well, there's some there. Um, the only one by the looks of it though. They reckon they're quite expensive. A bit more there. And then at the end here, there's some as well. Some big tip there, some tip there. Like somebody is more there, organised and and doing this regular, isn't it? it you know, it's not um, it's not just a one-time thing. This is happening all the time, and some prosecutions need to happen. Nice day, yeah. Nice. Don's taking me to B man. Alright. <laughs> no, no, it's alright, I can I can go myself. Right, well it's over here a lot. Yeah, well, we'll have and, a look. Uh, it's coming, it'll be coming down yard now. I'm not gonna get stung, am I? Yeah, well he puts a net on why so it don't go too close. <laughs> puts it all here though. So we've got the hive here. Oh yeah, don't go too close, Joe. Last thing I want is to get stung. I will cry if I get stung. You're adding some bits to the beehive. Yeah. Fruit box. Fruit this box. is where the queen lays her eggs in this box. And what happens if you don't like add bits then? Then it gets too full. Yeah. And they go right. We've we've outgrown our stay, and then they move out and they fly off. Oh, and you lose all your bees. Yeah. <laughs> That's just. Right, Quite a bit of management goes into it, then, isn't there? Yes, it is very much so. See my hand swollen there. What be there? Because by the time I have gone from there to the car around the back, they were just all around me. So I parked the car right up there this time. It sounds like it's going to be a dangerous place for me to study. Yeah? You'll probably be all right there. <laughs> probably, probably be all right. I like that. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to make because. That hive there is so big. Yeah. 
I'm going to split it. Right. And create another one. Create another. Oh, we've got some about now. Right, so the idea is you're taking a few bees out today and then these are going to go back to your, your house Correct, yeah. so that they like start a new hive, is that right then? So they reorientate, so I'm going to, they've started putting swarm cells up in the hive, um, which means they're outgrowing that. Yeah. I'm going to take some of the swarm cells, put them in here, take this one home, let them reorientate and then bring them back to this apiary. Ah. In a minute, when you, when you start up with this, I'm like out of here. I do not want to get, I've seen your hands, like I don't want to get like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm going on holiday tomorrow, so the last thing I want is stung everywhere. <laughs> But uh, have you have you got some honey off them then yet this year or is I'll it? I'll pull some out in a minute. Yeah. There's, uh, there's quite a few capped frames ready to come off. Oh, yeah. nice. Right, I'll uh, I'll stand back and leave you to it. Get on his net like when he lets them out, they're all over his face. Don says he's never been stung. Not by these. I have pooped <laughs> them, but not not by this this lot around here. <laughs> With the friendly bees, he's got his smoker going. Oh, so right, and you were saying the right hand side one's where the honey is. No, like, so the two, oh, sorry. the smaller boxes are where the, they're called supers, where the honey is. Right. And the bigger ones are the brood boxes where the queen lays the eggs. Ah. Oh. So it's not all all the same thing, is it? It's uh, it's quite technical when you get yeah, yeah. him talking like, I just thought, you know. Yeah, they stick. lost them all in, in winter because they, they got um, condensation in to hive and then it freezes it and it, it kills them cold, all so like. you have to have a new, a new set of bees. Mm. We're hoping it's gonna Be fail. Becky would not be stood here, let me tell you that. No, that would have laid her in that. There's one round your head. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll leave off. him to it, I'll leave him to it, don't I think. <laughs> Don's got some uh, wild ones in in the shed. Tell you now, I am watching from a long way away. Last thing I want is to get stung. You got one there. There's your capped honey that the bees have capped off. You'll be fine. They've capped all that off now. Oh, yeah, so yeah. just a few little more cells to go, just like that, and that's ready to take off to be part of the crop. What do you do, just scratch it off and then... Yeah, you scratch that all off and it'll come out. Spinner, get all the honey out. Oh, nice. So we're nearly there. I just had that land on me and I, the fear that was in me was unreal. <laughs> he says I'll be all right, but... Yeah, I do not want to get stung. Um, they were being a bit more um, friend friendly around me, so I'm going to shoot off back, get this trailer chipped off, and then if uh, if Ryan's still about, we'll have another chat with him. So I'm back in the yard. Look at this. Johnny and Mick's got a road train on. Yeah, boy. Yeah, he's even got his dome look on the six six ten as well. Look at that, eh? weapon yeah very good right so now we've got us weighed in and uh, i've just moved some of the traffic that was in the yard we'll um get this load tipped off and get weighed out so we got john deere mick and chris here yeah. <laughs> road train road train can you handle it that one's my belt good yeah. to see you anyway yeah. oh what are you doing on saturday you're going somewhere aren't you if you see him, get your photo and put him in video. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Celebrity. So the road train is on its way. Ready to get his two empty trailers back.
we're on it. So we're back at Don's, we're going to fill the trailer with the crema. So just doing a bit of fur spreading. Don's took over now. There we go. It is, it's Mick Arposty. <laughs> he sorts out all the parcels. It's the man who sorts out all the merch. Business. And it, it sorts out all my problems as well, because um, I, I get it wrong a few, few times, don't I? You do, mate. Once or twice, once, once or twice. Or twice. <laughs> but he sorts We're here to sort you. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I'm just walking off to get the uh, Weybridge done. Look at that. Mm. I think we've been lucky. Yeah. No, we haven't, but it's where the eye is in Michelin. We'll get that washed off. It's very, 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 very slow. But um, when I get time, I'll, I'll put a repair in that. So I've had my dinner. I'm going to get off um, and take that. But I think there's a way ticket in here that I need to take the on. When I used to drive this Kramer, I didn't get on with it. But now with the G we've got the JCB with the... Um, I want to call it Vario, it's not called Vario, is it? But um, hydrostatic or whatever. I am a bit more, it's a bit more familiar to drive. It's a little bit different, but it's more, more familiar than, than I used to be. It's like somebody's had a disaster here. It's like it's dumped windscreen wiper as well. Goes to there now. Ah, well, that didn't take long 71 hours, eh? Thomas, you could do it. Hey, he has done. That's the first time he's ever done that. Champion. Thomas is going to show us around his 75. Have you been. Was it you that cleaned it then? No, because I were at school. Ah, right. But we've got it mucky for him anyway. We're a bit of. Uh, Seals Farm manure. Painting. Needs painting. It looks immaculate. Got wheels. Yeah. Somebody's made a good job of that, haven't they? Second attempt ever throwing these over. Are you alright there? Yeah. Yeah, you'll be alright. You can hit him. Look at that. Well done. You're going to be a pro at this. Do you want a job at Harvest? <laughs> so we got Shamans here to fix the uh, little oil leak that we had the other day. I'll get this pulled in shed for him and then they can be out of this, uh, out of this heat a bit. Sorting the job. Oh, is it a bit loose? Uh, yeah, that part there is just loose. Uh, fixed. Right, we're back on the road. Um, yeah, Thomas did really well, chucking that strap over. Uh, we got that bit of damage on the nine meter, but it could have been a lot worse. Could have been a lot, lot worse. Um, we'll just probably get a wiper arm. We don't really use that mirror anywhere. And uh, we should be aware. So my dad and Noah are moving the muck pile from the top of the yard. Getting rid of that. Starting it away. Sounds like I'm to uh, push up the barley here before I tip this load off. So what had happened earlier was when you drop this off put it down to the bottom and then you unlock the pins and you back out well so you had it like that unlocked the pins and it had come onto the cab hit that bend the arm so Don's coming in scooping it up Ah, 
Well, I've done a number of loads and it's getting later, but I thought, you know what, let's just try and get the majority of this job done and ticked off, because the tractor's on the trailer. Let's try and get it sorted. Is Mick Subvention is a happy birthday to Kyle Daly, and that is from your mum, your dad, and Siobhan. So um, if anybody else wants to get their name, like Kyle's done, into the video uh, for adventure, then there's a link in the description below. It's a way that we try and raise a little bit of money, do a little bit of good with the channel. We raise it for Yorkshire Air Ambulance. 8,600 and some pounds now we've, we've raised, which is fantastic. And it's all down to you guys um, that have donated. So thank you very much. Uh, yeah, link down there. Let's get on anyway. Let's get some barley. Let's get some more barley. For I'm loving this, you know. This, this, this tractor is pretty cool to drive on the road. It's nice. I'm liking it. That's why I'm just. No, let's get it done. Well, that is, I think, going to be about it for me today. Get this filled up. Um, then uh, get it back home. And the job's pretty much sorted, all the feeding up's done, and um, and yeah, everything's everything's ticked off. So this weekend we've got some some things happening. One of the tractors is getting a little bit of an addition, but um, you'll have to wait until Sunday, I think, to um, to see what that is. So somebody's going to fit something to one of them. So maybe you could have a little guess. Um, I won't be revealing until Sunday, but you could have a little guess in the comments if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, hopefully you've liked it. If you have, press the like button, subscribe if you're not already, and um, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks guys, bye.